All right, Maddie, what kind of ice cream treat should we try this week? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I really want a flurry. A flurry? What's a flurry? You know, it's where you take ice cream and you add some candy topping and, and then you blend it all together. They're so good. Oh, you mean a blizzard. No, I said a flurry. I mean a flurry. My favorite ice cream shop calls them flurries. Well, Dairy Queen calls them blizzards and being the queen, I think she knows what she's talking about. Fine, it's a blizzard, whatever, man. I want a blizzard with Butterfingers. No. Excuse me? Yes. No, you will not have a blizzard with Butterfingers. You'll have a blizzard with Oreos. Ew, no, I don't like Oreos. I, I really don't like them. I want Butterfingers. No, you don't. <laughs> Connie, yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I want Butterfingers. <sighs> then go get your own without me. I refuse to eat with someone who doesn't like an Oreo blizzard. Flurry. Blizzard. <sighs> Connie, do you know why your very special Dairy Queen and all her infinite wisdom offers the choice of toppings? Oreo, Heath Bar, Butterfingers, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? No. Because Dairy Queen knows that we're all different. Some people like Butterfingers, some people like Oreos. That doesn't make one of us right or wrong, it just means that we're different. And different is good. Well, I guess I never really thought of it that way. Yeah, and God is the one who made us all different and he loves each and every one of us in our differences. In fact, he doesn't just love us, he delights in us. And God wants us to love each other even in our differences too. You're right, Maddie. Come on, let me buy you a Butterfinger Flurry. Actually, now, I think I want a Reese Peanut Butter Cup. I thought you said you wanted Butterfinger. What, I can't change my mind? No, come on. I came to party! Did you know that Jesus is for everyone? It's true. There isn't a single person in the whole world who Jesus doesn't love. There isn't anyone that he doesn't want to be close to. But way back in Bible times, 
Not long after Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose again, some of the Jewish people thought that Jesus was only for them. They thought that because Jesus himself was Jewish, that they were the only ones who should hear the good news about Jesus. They thought that all the other people, the ones who weren't a part of a Jewish family, couldn't know Jesus. These non-Jewish people were called Gentiles, but some of them wanted to be part of God's family too. One of these Gentiles was a centurion in the Roman army named Cornelius. Even though Cornelius was not Jewish, he still did some of the things that good Jewish people did. He gave money to people who didn't have any, and he prayed all the time. But most importantly, Cornelius believed in God. He knew that God was real, and God is real. Cornelius even told his family about God, and they all believed in God too. One day, when Cornelius was praying, he had a vision. A vision is, it's kind of like a dream that you have when you're awake. In the vision, an angel of the Lord came to Cornelius and called his name. Cornelius was about to find out that he could be a part of the family of Jesus too. The angel had a message for Cornelius. He said to go to the city of Joppa and find a man named Peter. This was the very same Peter who was one of Jesus' disciples and closest friends. And Cornelius didn't wait. Right away, he told three of his servants to go to Joppa and get Peter. What Cornelius didn't know was at the very same time, Peter was busy teaching people in the city of Joppa about Jesus. Until then, the only people Peter had taught about Jesus were the Jewish people. He had not told the Gentiles about Jesus. While Cornelius' men were making their way to Joppa, Peter also had a vision. He'd gone up to the rooftop of his house to pray. And after a little while, Peter got hungry and asked a servant to make him something to eat. Of course, this had to be special food because Peter was Jewish. There were many kinds of food like pork or shrimp that Jewish people were not allowed to eat. As Peter was waiting for the servants to bring his food, the vision appeared. He saw heaven open, something like a large sheet filled with animals come down. Then a voice said, Peter, kill the animals and eat them. Peter was shocked. The sheet had animals on it that the Jewish people were not allowed to eat. It was against God's rules. Peter said, no, I, I, I'm a Jew. I, I've never eaten these kinds of animals. They're not pure. The voice told him, that everything God makes is pure. But Peter still refused to eat. This happened three times before the sheet was taken back up into heaven. While Peter was wondering what in the world that vision could have meant, the three men that Cornelius had sent arrived at the gate of the house. Then the Holy Spirit came to Peter and told him to go and meet with the men. The men told Peter about Cornelius and the vision that he had. And when Peter heard this, he began to understand what God was trying to tell him in the vision of the animals on the sheet. There had always been special rules for God's people, but this vision was a message from God telling Peter that everyone was special, not just the Jewish people. That meant that Peter should not just teach Jewish people about Jesus. He should teach Gentiles like Cornelius too. Jesus is for everyone. Everyone God made needed to hear the good news that we can be close to God forever when we believe in Jesus. Well, the very next day, Peter traveled with the three men to see Cornelius. And when they finally arrived in Joppa, Cornelius was very excited to meet Peter. He asked Peter to tell him and everyone in his house about Jesus. Cornelius had gathered many relatives and friends together and Peter told them all about Jesus. And usually, Jewish people didn't even enter the house of a Gentile. But this didn't stop Peter. He went in and told them about his dream and how he now understood that God had made everyone the same. After Peter told the people about Jesus, something wonderful happened. The Holy Spirit came upon everyone who had heard the message. They began to speak in languages they had never even spoken in before, and they began to praise God. Peter was amazed. The Holy Spirit's power was God's proof that the Gentiles 
could accept Jesus too. Everyone was special to God. After that, everyone in Cornelius' house believed in Jesus. Cornelius was the first Gentile Christian, but there would be many more after this. Peter and the other Jewish Christians had learned something powerful. God loves everyone, no matter who they are. Jesus died for everyone. He loves us all. He loves the way he made us, and he wants us to love others the same way he does. Ahoy, mateys! Which of ye be ready to play the toughest game found anywhere on the seven seas? I'm talking about ye old sea shell shuffle. I'm going to show some seashells from me personal collection. One of these shells has a pearl inside. The shells will get shuffled up like a ship in a hurricane, but you'll be having to keep your eye on the shell with the pearl. If ye be wearing an eye patch like me, you'll have to put your good eye to work. Think ye have what it takes? If so, let me hear ya shout a hearty, aye aye, Captain! All righty then, look alive. Here we go. Did ye keep a sharp lookout? If so, shout out one, two, or three if ye knows where the pearl be. Well done, but that was the easy one. If you missed that, I would have made ye walk the plank. Ha 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 ha! Let's try another. All right, mateys. Still think ye know where the pearl is? Oh, impressive. Now what happens if we add in a fourth shell? Do ye know where the pearl be? Or did the shells get the best of ye? Yo ho ho ho! Looks like ye be getting your sea legs! Well done! Let's try another! Heave ho me hearties! Shout it out! One, two, three, or four! If ye have eyes on the pearl! Well done! I've been in need of a new lookout. Ye might just be the sailor for the job. Now, can you keep your wits about you with five shells? Blow me down! I'm as lost as a landlubber in a hurricane with no map! Shout it out if ye know where the pearl be! Fine work, mates. Fine work. Now it be time for the final challenge. Shiver me timbers. That pearl is as lost to me as a cannonball in the ocean. Shout it out if he knows where it be at. There she blows. He found the pearl. I tip my hat to you fine sailors. Well done, mateys. Well done. Wow, there are some really weird dreams in our story today. Yeah, you want to know what I dream about? What? Ice cream. With Butterfingers on top or Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Oh, hey, you remember my favorite. Of course, and we are God's favorite, and he made us, and he loves us, and it doesn't matter what we look like. Or where we live. Or even what kind of ice cream topping is our favorite. Even though Butterfinger really is the best. 
Jesus loves you. He really, really does. So which really is your favorite, Butterfinger or Reese's? I don't know, like I really like peanut butter, but I just don't.